Oh. Oh, it's the bag in the bin. Bag. Bag in the bin. Bin. Huh. Good morning, everyone. Um, today is Tuesday, the 30th of July. Happy birthday, husband. Um, the time is about ah! quarter to nine. Oh, you got the lid. Jed is playing with one of his favorite things in the world, a bin. It has a little bag in it, but um, the bottom is cut. So for those who are worried about safety. Yeah. Ashley just recently did this online playful challenge through uh, Playful Little Learners, I think it's called. I'll, I'll link them below. And they were talking about um, leaning into what your kids are interested in and giving them those things to play so jed is always interested in playing with the poo bin in his room and the garbage bin so rather than resist i sometimes have like the last week a couple of times i've given him the little empty bin which i've wiped clean and he honestly played with it for about 45 minutes the other day just independently so um yes good tip that one um this lighting is horrendous it's showing up every little thing anyway um i just wanted to really check in and say hello today i haven't made a video for a while and i kind of miss doing it and i don't really know what this channel is like really but i like making videos so I'm going to make one now and I'm just going to share it today. I don't have a big topic in mind. So I thought I'd just say hello and catch up on what's happening in life. Um, Jed is going to be 18 months next week. Bin! Bin, that's right. And it's closed too. Oh. What's inside? Um. Oh, is there anything in there? No. Oh, a bin, a rubbish bag. What, what can you put inside your bin? Can you find some things to put in there? Oh. You find some things to put in there. <laughs> um, he was going to be 18 months old next week. Uh, what can I tell you about? He's, he's talking a lot, like single words. Yes, you are. Uh, we've transitioned over to one sleep so let's talk about that for a minute um, it was fine in hindsight it was a little tricky I think they say that it can take several months for, to fully transition I think ours happened over about a month or so and he was so this age so he's been doing this for about three weeks what happened what was I saying Oh yeah, so they say between 15 and 18 months is when they usually transition. And Jed was, okay, so he's nearly 18 months. So I wanna say 16, 17 months. Um, and the way it kind of happened is I was, he was still doing two naps a day, like clockwork for about a month at 10 and three. But I was having to cut both of those naps short in order to fit them both in and still have bed at a reasonable time. <coughs> Um, so that was going fine and then he sort of started not being really tired enough for the 10 a.m. one but we persevered the real the real moment it kind of changed is when a few days in a row in one a few days in a row he just did not have the afternoon nap he'd show tired signs I'd put him down in bed but he would just stay awake and I would end up trying to get him up, up without a nap. So once that happened a few times, I just said, oh, well, that's not working. So we went to one nap. And it's weird because he was doing 10 a.m. bedtime, but as soon as we switched over, he seems to just last till close to 12, say 11, 30, 12. Um, so that's what we're doing now, just one nap a day. It's going for between two and three hours. Um, still adjusting a little bit 
to the flow of the day. So before, um, when he was doing two naps, it was quite easy to have that middle of the day to go out and do things, like if we needed to, whatever. It was easy to sort of have that block in the middle of the day. I am kind of, it feels like, okay. In the morning, we are doing a couple of activities. He's got swimming one day, and then there's some like local music activities to, to do one of those a week, but they're local. But as far as like going out and doing errands, or if I needed to go shopping and drive him home for let's say 15, 20 minutes, I'd still be nervous about him falling asleep and then it's stuffing up the naps. Um, and then in the afternoon, by the time he wakes up, has his long lunch, because he always takes ages to eat his lunch. Um, it's sort of like day's done. But we can go out and do local things. Yes, Zoe. Yes, you got it. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit of an adjustment to that, but I must say it is nice to have that block of time in the middle of the day to um, be able to get a lot of work done like get stuck into a few things without having to stop and wake him up uh so yeah at first when he switched over it felt really weird it felt like the routine was completely out of whack and it just felt strange but now it's fine it feels just like the new normal um if he happens to wake up earlier than usual one day um we might have to bring dinner forward and bedtime forward but we're kind of just going with the flow with that because we do like having our family dinners together which we usually do at six o'clock but sometimes i do have to bring his dinner forward and um either lindsay might be able to get home early depending on the day or um or i'll just give jed dinner by himself first so and lately okay so that's it that's really been pretty easy i think it wasn't that hard at all really whoa whoa you good oh okay yep um what was i saying Oh yeah, so I have been giving him a snack at 11, usually something like a banana. Yes, a snack, except it's not snack time yet. We just had breakfast. We just had breakfast. Like a banana and a piece of toast. But I am considering sort of maybe doing lunch and instead and a snack after sleep. No. So I'm still figuring that out. No. But yeah, definitely sort of filling him up a bit before asleep. I'll just show you our little happy birthday signage up here. It's a bit cute. From Kmart, of course. So it's a rainy day here in Sydney. Usually in the morning, beep, beep, beep. Usually in the morning we are outside like watering the garden, emptying the compost and Jed will play around while I clean in the kitchen and watch him from the window. But it's a bit dreary today, so we're probably not going to do that. Um, it's a bit sort of rainy and icky. Um, today I have to, well, I'm going to make Lindsay his annual birthday lasagna. Can you hear the sirens outside? Rio, Rio. Can you hear that? Mommy. Sirens outside. Can you say siren? I know. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> what else? So we've transitioned to sleep. Oh, we did go through about... <laughs> okay, so for the past week, Jed's been sleeping through. Sleeping through, amazing. Um, except for one night, but it was after we'd had people over during the day for Lindsay's birthday, and I think it was just he was um, hyped up from the day. But yeah, he's been sleeping through, which has been amazing. Um, 
But before that, we went through a really, really rough patch. So how was? That's okay, darling. We'll just get it out here. It's just a bit stuck. There we go. All good. All good. Um, so yeah, we went through a very, very rough patch, which lasted about, I want to say, six weeks. And he was... You got something in your eye? Is it okay? E. E. Uh, waking up three times a night and we were having to get up to hold him to him to settle him back to sleep so that was really really hard so he would have been 16 15 16 months thankfully that's we're out of that phase we're currently in a good phase i hope it lasts for a while you never know, do you? Um, what else has been happening? I've been really busy with work things. And that's part of the reason why I haven't been making videos. But I want to get back into it. So, <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, there's the bag. It slid down, didn't it? Whee. Got it. Whee. Can we put some blocks in here? Do you want to put some blocks in here? Do you want to put them in there? Oh. There you go. Can you find the turtle? I think it's upside down. See the turtle? Um, yeah, so for those who don't know, I don't think I've mentioned it on here, but um, I have uh, a business. I make um, kids' activity packs for weddings. I sell them on Etsy, and um, business has been picking up lately, so I've been um, busy with that. But I've also been making a website for proofreading and editing because that's what I'm I'm trained in that. So. I've been busy making a website. I haven't launched it yet. It's getting ready for launching. So that's happening. I'm a little bit nervous about how to fit in the work, but I suppose with freelancing, you just kind of take what you can do and um, you say no to what you can't do. I have been asked a couple of times recently to do copywriting and I've turned both of those offers down. Um, the most recent one was yesterday and it just didn't, um, it didn't resonate with me. I don't love copywriting. I prefer, I can write for myself when I'm close to the topic, but I prefer, much prefer the editing and proofreading. But yeah, I just, I just thought I'd mention that because it felt like when I looked at the, the brief for the work, the description for the work, it didn't resonate with me. Firstly, as something that I could do justice to, but it just didn't feel right. And it felt like if I said yes to this thing that I was going to be really, really busy and pushed to my limits. And it felt great to say no. So there, there's so much power in... Sometimes you just feel like you're meant to say yes to everything, but there is power in listening to your gut and just saying no when things don't feel right, when they don't feel like they'll fit. Um, so yes, that is what's been happening with that. I've been busy with that. Um, the other big thing that's happening and Lindsay and I haven't really agreed to sort of how broadcast this, but I think it's okay on here because uh, you guys don't know me. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've, I've mentioned in the past that we've been looking to move up the coast. So it'll be several hours drive up the coast. And we, I'll go into, a, into it more later, but basically we have a plan in action and we will be going sooner than later we haven't found somewhere to go yet um but it's on the horizon which is really really exciting i'll talk more about that in a different video but yes 
plenty of things have been happening so that's my little update for today i hope you enjoyed it what we're gonna do we're gonna go upstairs probably put some washing away together and come down tidy the kitchen or i might tidy the kitchen first and then i'm gonna make the lasagna Lindsay's coming home early today at three o'clock um and yeah we'll have a nice birthday afternoon with him so that'll be good but yes thank you for thank you for watching and catching up with us and wow oh, it's a lovely smile beautiful oh oh you've been putting the blocks in there that's a good idea how many do we have oh, sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry you keep going all right disrupted the activity but okay we're going to end that there thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye jenny can you say bye nope very engrossed in this activity oh no oh no oh, bye, bye. oh good okay bye 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 Good boy. <laughs> Can you see yourself? <laughs> you wave. Good boy. Bye. We ended up coming outside anyway. I'm getting a bit restless inside.